Hi guys, Chef Olivier here. Today I'm going to show you how to break down a suckling pig. Suckling pig. So, here we got a little pig. Here. Um, normally we will roast the pig whole. We will cut it, spread it open, and roast it, barbecue it, smoke it. Um, what are we going to demonstrate here? It's how to cut a pig in general. So if you get an adult pig, bigger than that, you will generally cut it vertically. It will hang on the hook and you will cut it from here, like that. Now, for the example, we're going to use a circling pig. First thing we will remove are the legs. So you go to the joint and you simply remove the pig feet. When you order pig feet for cooking pig feet, try to always get the one from the front legs. They, they are meatier than the one from the rear. Then we will remove the head. So the head we will keep it to prepare a cheese head pate. So have a look here and you can see the different glands. That part here with the jaw is really good to make our pates and terrine. But we make any if we make a chicken liver terrine, if we make a sausages as well, for charcuterie we want to use a lot of that part on a pig. But we're going to cut the head simply behind, behind the jaw. We keep the head for our terrine. You can use the ear. We could also use the tongue, but the tongue is gone now. We're gonna use. We're gonna eat the brain as well, all the cheeks obviously, and all that meat and gelatin which is here. Now we will open the pig in two. Simply cut through the sternum. We'll have a nice view of the rib cage. Here are mignon, which are basically the tenderloin, and the legs. So next move, we will remove the legs. So that part of the legs on the big pig is the, the part you will use to make ham. So every ham you will find in the deli is part of this one. What is interesting to see here, that part here, there is a little artery. That artery, as you can see right there, it goes on each leg. So I'm going to keep that artery there for a simple reason. If you're doing, cut it into there, so one, if you're, doing, if you're using a big, a large pork and using a ham, the best way to brine your ham from inside is to use the artery. You're going to inject your brine through the artery because ar as an artery get connection to every muscle of the leg. So un unlike when you uh, inject by syringe um, the brine into 
the hum, you can simply use that, keep that artery there and simply inject through that and it will naturally, na na naturally go to every single muscle of the leg. Okay, so we're going to detach the leg but making sure that artery stay there. Here you got your nice rear leg for the arm. So we remove both our legs. Now we left with the tail here and our carcass, the ribs. Here we've got our. Um, our tenderloin and our shoulder. So we're now going to separate the pig in two. So I'm simply going to cut along the spine. So I'm cutting through the joint along the spine. So when you cut through the, uh, through the joint, you don't have to force. then I'm going to stay against the spine and separate my pig in two. Those bones are a bit stronger because there are no joints there so we're going to use the cleaver just to break the bone and keep the knife to go through the meat and the skin. So we've got here two half of pork. We will remove the, we're going to remove the spine now. So same thing on the other side, going to cut through the joint. here that part when you are there you simply want to with your knife place your knife against the spine to make sure that you get all the meat and cut the skin as well those bones which are a bit stronger Cleaver again, make sure you just cut the bones. When the bones are cut, you can finish simply with your knife. Get the other half, and we're gonna keep the tail, the pigtail. So now we get half the pig. What we want to do is to separate the shoulder. So the front leg, here we get a big bone, which is the shoulder blade that you want to separate. So we go there and start to cut through the skin and you try to stay, as you can see here, between the muscles. You don't want to cut through the meat, you want to cut between the muscle where the collagen is so you keep your muscles all in one piece that part of the pig, the shoulder you can use it for sautés for braising but also the meat itself 
is full of gelatin, full of fat, you can absolutely use it in charcuterie. So sages or pâtés, you can use that part. Now, the part that everyone likes here, the bacon. So, bacon will come from that part here, from the belly. So you get a pork belly here, and here you'll have a part of, of, of pear ribs. So what you do, that little one is basically the size of your bacon. So you will go from here to one, two, three, four, five coats, five, five, five uh, ribs, and simply mark them like this. Okay, we're going to mark them here. Cut here. Straight. I'm going to break those bones. And here I am with the part which will make my bacon and also part of my spare ribs. Okay, that can be smoked, that can be cured. That's our pork belly. So now that part is also really important. Here, which is just over the shoulder, it's, uh, it's really rich, same, same again, with collagen and fat. That's the perfect one for a nice pork roast. So, really rich meat. This one here is same again, really good for charcuterie. It was close to the throat of the pig, and it's really good to make charcuterie and sausages. Here, because of the richness of the meat, you can still roll it and make a nice roast. Now, we are now left with what we call the rack. So for the rack, there are different cuts. Three. Here, those one, they're part of the basically bones, the spare, spare ribs that we're going to use in our roast as well. Now, the first four there, one, two, three, four. They are secondary ribs. Secondary, because they don't have, they're not, they don't have that perfect round there and long bones. And then you get here, our first ribs. You have a nice little uh, uh, loin there, a nice long bone. So when you French that, you get a nice little um, pork shop. Okay, first and secondary ones. And here, that's what we go like call on our um, on our lamb, for example, the saddle. After the saddle. So on top of that, the little loin you get here is the tenderloin. Tenderloin, um, or we call it on the pork. How do we call it on the pork? Filet mignon. That's your filet mignon. Um, you will just remove those bones here. And you can simply have once again a nice little roast with your filet mignon and saddle. 